Sonic the Hedgehog is a game franchise that has captured the hearts of many a gamer. The sleek yet simple control scheme encompassing a faster Mario-like gameplay made many gamers fall in love with the character instantly. But I believe two-dimensional gameplay is extremely lacking in the wow factor. Sonic Adventure for the Sega Dreamcast was a step in the right direction. It was new and innovative. Everyone loved it. Wow, a game that was too deep now isn't? Don't you wish there were another 2D platformer that decided to go 3D route? You know, maybe one with a particular system that everyone loves to talk and talk about it as if it were the best thing ever. Hmm, maybe one with a red cap that's also a plumber and is Italian? Anyways, originally for the Sega Dreamcast, Sonic Adventure 2 was every bit as awesome as Sonic's first adventure, but better. Then Sega decided to bring the adventures to a cube-like game console that's name is eluding me at the moment. Hmm. Sega, get your notebook out because here are three of the many reasons that I believe Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is the best Sonic game ever made. The music in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle was the definition of theming. The music was so amazing and always fit the character you were playing, as well as the level that you were on. Let's say, for example, you were on a pyramid level with Dr. Eggman. The music was mechanical and clunky, although a tad sinister, much like the good doctor, but had an Egyptian feel. Rouge always felt like a super spy, flying around hard pressed for time to find those emeralds. Shadow was always biochemical, mutant, and cool. Tails, for the most part, had whimsical music that often felt uplifting and nice. Get it? Uh, uplifting? <laughs> and Knuckles had rap music? Gotta love that jazz rap. And of course, who doesn't remember this stroke of brilliance? You can argue up and down that Sonic Adventure 1 was the better when it came to the story. However, I believe playing as one particular person at a time halted the actual gameplay. It left you wondering what or why the other character did what they did. In Sonic Adventure 2, however, they utilize a point of view tactic that made the player seem omnipotent, allowing you to see what Sonic is doing in relation to what Eggman is doing without halting the momentum of the game. Actually, that's kind of a bad example, because they're different sides, but yeah, you get the point. Ah, uh, there's nothing like being a parent. Take it from an 18-year-old kid who still lives with his mom and pop. For those of you who don't know, Chows are these cute little demon angel baby things that seem to be featured some way in every single Sonic game. The way they work is, while you play a level, you collect animals and these power node things that come from robots that give your Chow attributes to develop them so that they can race, fight, or just be all around adorable. What they grow into specifically depends on what kind of things you give them to grow. This whole system gave the player an opportunity to think about something else while still playing the game. I think it's probably one of the best features in any game I've ever played. Why then have they decided to take it out of all the other games after this one? <laughs> The game had its share of annoying glitches, and Nintendo GameCube discs are easier to scratch than a scratch and play lotto ticket. I also would have really loved to see Amy play, being as a playable character in the actual game, but then again, you can't play her in the battle mode, uh, which is another thing. The battle mode is fun, don't get me wrong, but for a game that has the word battle in the name, I think the battles with the bosses would be a little less annoying, a little bit more compelling. Truth be told, I love this game, and still to this day, when I don't know what to play, I'll pick it up and play it. It's just that awesome.
Hey Sonic, what do you think of the new games where they put you in a car? I like running better. Oh, okay. Uh, you'll call me again later, right? Right, Sonic? If you like this video, and you should, you can subscribe and check out my other Let's Play videos. Uh, they're pretty funny. And also, check out this other video that I made about making my theme song, which you heard, I think, at the beginning of this episode.